Welcome everyone to this video on man-made disaster. This is something which has been deliberately done, probably can do, could have been avoided, but then disasters are waiting to happen. Certain things are because of the caricatures of human beings and human beings alone. So disasters can be man-made where the cause is intentional or even perhaps unintentional, all kind, kinds of man-made disaster leads to human suffering loss of life and definitely long-term damage to the national economy now people might be asking what is unintentional now there are certain unintentional what we call as uh, loss of common sense or silly mistake probably when uh, too fast moving transport let's say train let's say car let's say any vehicle for that matter are colliding with each other do you think they are deliberately doing it we call them as an accident which are known as unintentional when there is a collision between two vehicles and there is a demise of few few lives probably the small incident or an accident but when the accident becomes on a larger scale if it consists of an airlines if it consists of a ships if it consists of trains probably when the damages are on a larger scale that becomes unintentional disasters as what we call around here <clears throat> if you can see the pic this is what has happened it is another pic which is coming from a recent war that is happening in one part of the globe so we have man-made disasters and man-made disaster waiting to happen probably so <clears throat> types now what are the various types of man-made disaster number one is the nuclear disasters as the case might be if you look into it nuclear disasters are waiting to uh, waiting to happen every country in, in the so-called sense of being almighty all powerful are displaying the nuclear might and probably issuing threat every now and then of um, going nuclear uh, war and that is what a nuclear disaster or man-made disaster would all would all be believe me or not if, a, if somebody detonates the nuclear bomb i'm sure half of the planet will be impacted including the country which has detonated it but then uh, this is what is to be uh, described and people need to be sensitized against this thing then there is something called biological disaster biological disasters is waiting to happen into air pollution people might deliberately inject certain uh, bacteria in your food, in your potable water, in, your, in the air, which might become it, in uh, which might make it, make it very toxic to the sustenance of life. Similar things would be chemical, air disaster, fire accident, road accidents. I have already del uh, deliberated on fire accidents and road accidents. Terrorism and epidemic is something which is uh, which can be avoided. Probably yes, with uh, with the SARS CoV-2 of 2019, 2021 that we just uh, witnessed around it the COVID-19 uh, epidemic or pandemic as, as the terminologies might be de differing from region to re region are induced, man-induced. Now this is what we need, we can avoid them. Terrorism in different part of the globe is what exactly is happening as of now. So man-made disasters are weapons of mass destruction, which are basically biological, nuclear, and chemical disasters, the first three. And the bottom three are major disaster. Probably it can be unintentional, fire accident, terrorism, epidemic, travel accident, uh, of which terrorism is a deliberate accident, if, if I may say so. Nuclear accident is type of an explosion deriving its force from nuclear reactions of fission and fusion. It is of the two types of fission or fusion when it's it's the nuclear bomb when the atom is being colliding with one another and it releases a lot of energy which is nothing but known as a bombs or atom bombs fission bombs example of fusion bombs are hydrogen bombs high edge bombs or fusion bombs per perhaps this is a pic that shows how a actual nuclear bomb would be looking at the time of blast see the velocity see the intensity see the ferocity if you want to go around it and it can wipe out cities after cities history has shown us about nagasaki and hiroshima in japan world war ii what has happened the there are few generations that was wiped out or probably there were change in the dna's altogether precautions common indicators of this disaster of vomiting people would like to vomit or probably feel nauseating or dizziness Never look at the fire as it caused instant blindness. See the radiation that it emits. Close every doors, every windows, uh, and do not allow any radioactivity 
to penetrate inside the solid structure so ensure that you are in a covered area cover everything your food your water your and listen to the government action as as the case might be a pick of chernobyl plant in russia that happened that was an accident which happened uh, of what actually goes around it and this is what i wanted to sensitize the audience or the participant of this particular video to desist from such kind of acts biological uh, disasters are referred as a poor man's nuclear bomb definitely yes as they are easy to manufacture probably able to transport and have the ability to kill hundreds and thousands of people they deliver using dusting ear plates and or or small perfume atomizer they have the ability to generate immediate effect the idea idea out here would be less of uh, damage to the property and extreme damage to the lives and that is what biological disaster would all be all around it you look what is happening the the plants the trees have been wiped out that they have been rendered lifeless altogether cities after cities with the biological on board would go empty with all the structures infrastructure in place the precaution the who the world health organization should lay emphasis on prohibition of such biological warfare we should immediately get away from suspicious thing cover your mouth with a wet cloth if possible listen to the television the radio for the government instruction as to what to do and what not to do what to avoid and what not to avoid and that is what we are going around it look what has happened with this thing in this particular pic where you see a hundreds and thousands of birds lying dead this is nothing but the impact of a biological weapon now comes the chemical weapon this is again a phenomena which is been randomly happening in the industrialized societies or to the disaster that are caused by excessive use and misuse of chemical in industries are called chemical disaster the irresponsible handling of powerful chemicals can have a widespread impact absolutely widespread impact and believe me or not our interaction with chemical in days or in days in times are increasing in fact 99% if I, if i may be uh, exaggerating even a little bit 99% of every individual including you including me are interacting with chemical almost 100% of the time look at the laptop look at the pen everything is made up out of chemicals one of the other things at your furniture is made up of chemical the building structure that you are uh, you are living are made up of chemical the cement itself is a chemical composition so yes we are talking about everything and anything and chemical uh, disasters are only waiting to happen your toothpaste is a chemical your hair gel is a chemical whatever you name it uh, industries using harmful or powerful chemicals should be located far away from a uh, residential area this is one of the mandate that we should always follow there that's the reason why there is a demarcated residential zone and the industrial zone or the commercial zone if i may say so there should be service to keep a check in their activities the government should formulate emergency plan to in case of an accident pollution level should be checked every now and then and try to be kept in control so uh, we are giving you exactly the reasons why chemical chemical warfare or chemical disasters happen and how it goes around it this is what needs to be understood then comes the fire accident one of the most common accident that is happening in uh, due to the modern life accident that are caused due to fire extremely common fire result in heavy damages both in terms of life and also in terms of property if it is in a tall high rise building loss of life is high if it is in a uh, almost a flat or two story three story two story building the loss of life is a little bit low or minimal but the, there is a definite loss of property because fire damages anything and everything that comes its way so accident that are caused due to fire are quite common fire exact uh, results in heavy damages both in life and property loss of life is high in a crowded building as the case this might be if i say so the main reason what the precautions that we need to take around it is poor wiring faulty electrical equipment leaking gas or carelessly thrown cigarettes matches the main power supply source is a good condition wire should be properly covered inflammable things should be kept out of reach of the children power point should be shouldn't be overloaded and that is what we need to keep around it we should have the adequate weight uh, load factor in mind when we are utilizing any any electrical equipments 
because anything there is a mismatch between the load and the capacity to carry the, carry the power will result in short circuit which will eventually result in big fire then comes a travel accident a quite common believe me or not an accident which involves a number of people becoming a disaster example the disasters are year crashes that disasters are train or vehicle collisions capsizing of boats you name it and we have it i'll show you pick that goes around this says you look what has happened to titanic the uh, uh, the legendary ship that we have the whole ship sank and with along with it were the hundreds of people yes in a high speed zone we a common we are witnessing a common phenomena of cramped or crashed cars along with it people are almost completely fragmented or pasted all together and that's that's what travel accident is is all about it now what are the precaution that we may be able to take all efforts should be made to carry the victims to the medical facility nearby hospital and medical attention is to be garnered as early as possible if possible first aid can be given to the victim it is the duty of the people present there to get trapped people out if we smell fuel at an accident site warn people do not light any fire because this the accidents are bound to happen and probably uh, there's a high concentration of carbon monoxide where there might which might lead to asphyxiation of people there might be a lot of petroleum uh, vapors around in and around you if you light a fire and it goes boom um the pic that shows you this is a broken cargo uh, plane probably this is what is actually happening there is a ferocious accident on the road if you see a trawler and a bus colliding with one another then there is another thing called terrorism the modern day life has brought up another aspect of uh, human nuisances as in terrorism now this is terrorism is because of some principle which is not been matched with other other uh, other party as such there certain principles uh, of thoughts the thought can be based on whichever lines you want to go around it and demarcate it but if they are not matching people resort to physical violence and that is what terrorism is all about it this is another type of disaster that results in loss of life and property terrorism terrorists use violence and strike without warning they use bombs they use guns they use they they use anything and everything to terrorize people remember it is violence and violence is all about terrorism look at the 911 uh, pic that i've shown it to you where it was two uh, two aeroplanes actually blasted their way into the world trade center wtc and look the catastrophic impact that it had and it has changed the face of the earth as far as terrorism as a disaster is concerned precaution we must inform the police if we see or come across any suspected group of people we must stay away from suspicious thing involve people police administration everyone in and around it do not accept packages from the strangers do not leave luggages unattended while traveling as the case might be you look at it and we we need to go across it <clears throat> there it goes as far as the fires are concerned there it goes as far as terrorism are concerned people are blasting themselves off as a human bomb and this is what we need to go around it this is a pick where the army is actually facing a re relying on modern technologies to fight terrorism or avoid certain terrorism act the last one would be the epidemic yes epidemic occurs yes diseases are bound to happen to life yes there would be illness but when it becomes prolonged when when the number multiplies very rapidly very fastly and it becomes uh, on a magnanimous scale this is what ep epidemic is all about it a large number of people are affected at the same time it spreads as a rapid spread among human population most of the disease spread after a natural disaster let's say tsunami let's say flood let's say earthquake when people are much more vulnerable you see a child child who is excessively uh, obese now this is what we need to understand we need to avoid this itself is a disease and then definitely the uh, next pick as of epidemic where people are being uh, unable to save another gentleman or the lady perhaps and we need to take proper precautions so that the spread of the bacteria the viruses are not happening on a random way ensure safe drinking water sanitation after disaster health workers should be trained covering all stored water containers a surveillance should establish the detect of outbreak as on when on basis a proper data recording needs to be kept as on when on basis with this 
you see what is happening around here. This is a pic of uh, COVID-19 where people were standing in a queue just to get themselves vaccinated. The next would be where everybody has taken and probably this lungs uh, was an issue and people are taking certain precaution. That is what we are talking about. It listening to the national broadcast, listening to what the government is instructing and probably adhering to it, but only way to come up, come out of an epidemic like situation. With this, I come to an end of this presentation. Thank you for watching this presentation or video till the end.